Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Molly. I'm the founder of World Labs. And my name is Paulo Padillo, I'm the co-founder of World Labs. So today we're bringing you guys a live interactive demo highlighting the utility of, X, of NFTs on the XRP ledger using the SUM wallet. Uh, this will be a workshop, so we're expecting uh, audience participation. So um, yeah, be, be prepared and thank you. Yeah, everyone, please have your SUM wallet app ready to go. Um, we're going to have to go really quick for this demonstration. Um, the, yeah, so essentially prerequisites, you need to have you know, good, good Wi-Fi connection and have your SUM wallet application set up. Um, Ryan's going to walk you through the step-by-step -step really quick. What yeah, we're so, so we're, we're going to move everyone over to an X app. And once you get the X app on your phone, there will be a step-by-step -step instruction as to how to follow and actually mint an NFT. So the first step, you'll be scanning a QR code within the SUM app, which will add the XLS 20D DevNet to your device. Once you've scanned that QR code, we'll ask you to scan another QR code, which will install our X app to your device. So once that's installed, you'll, you'll be able to open up our X app. Um, we'll have to activate your account because your account is going to now show that you're on the DevNet, and so that the DevNet's not going to have any test XRP in it yet. So we'll have to fund your wallet, and then you'll proceed to a button that allows you to mint and claim a token that we're going to be minting for you that is specific. It has like a specific Apex graphic that we, that we created. Um, and then you'll be able to go to our visualizer, which will allow you to visualize that NFT. And after everyone participates, then we'll select one random winner and we'll send 100 XRP to your mainnet wallet. And we'll, show, we'll, <laughs> and we'll show everyone how to go back to default, right? So go back to the mainnet so, so no one's confused. All right, so step one, so we're gonna get you first onboarded with the test net, the NFT test net. Um, before now, it was quite hard to get, but now with NFTs um, coming soon, we wanna enable any developers here to have access to the NFT test net. So in your sum app, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see that button highlighted in, in the red box. That's what you're gonna have to click so you can scan the QR code we're about to display. Okay, so here we go. So when you scan this QR code, it's going to ask you if you'd like to um, add this custom, uh, this, this custom node. You're going to click Continue. And um, after that, it's going to ask you, would you, like to, would you like to switch to it? You know, click Yes, switch. And once you're, I'm, I'm going to go back. Did, thumbs up if, if you've scanned it. Um, OK. Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Let's give everyone a chance here to, to, to scan, get the test net added. Okay. All right. We'll give, uh, we'll give five, five more seconds here. All right. All right. Now, using the same steps that you used before. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> All right. All right. We all got the test net. Added. Yeah. So, so now your you're, now your wallet should say not activated because you're now you're now with you're now on the XLS twenty DevNet, and so that wallet doesn't have any XRP yet, right? All right. Same same thing. We're gonna we're gonna get you now on our X app. So we're gonna have you scan. Same process. Open the QR code in some so you can uh, add our X app here. <laughs> so we'll put that up for uh, twenty seconds. So this, this, this is probably the, the more important one to get um, because once you get our X app, there's actually tabs that we have for you to pull up the test net. So if someone next to you has this app downloaded, you can ask them to show you the QR codes. So you can, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I think don't think we can turn the light off. <laughs> is, it, is it not scanning? Yeah, if, if, by the way, if it's, if it's taking some time to load, give it, give it some time. Um, yeah. W w were there some people in the audience that were able to scan it successfully? Okay, yeah, good. So um, here, let me.
Yeah, so, so there's, a, there's a share tab. So if you go to the menu up in the top right, there's a share, and you can go to the QR codes. So guys, scan this. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's the resolution, maybe. Got it, thank you. And then you guys can share with other people, so if you go to the share tab. Got it. Yeah, there's an ability to share. No, it's fine. Got it, yeah. Yeah. You're, yeah. So here. figured out already. Yeah, I thought we did too. Oh, they just need to lock. They yeah. want to lock on. Okay. Oh, there it goes. All right. Okay. So, so I'm assuming most people have their X app installed on your on your device. Um, if there's still people that were not able to get the X app, um, the people that have the X app on their device, you can go to the share tab. Um, and share those QR codes with people that we're not able to get on. So now we'll hop into the demonstration. We'll take you step by step through the process. So on the right, this should be the screen that you're seeing on your phone. And so the first thing that you want to do is you want to click the start button. And you should see a page that looks like this. So go ahead and, and activate your account. We'll be using the public faucet to send you guys test XRP so that your account on the DevNet is activated. This should take about three to four to five seconds because we have to create a new wallet and then send funds from that wallet to your wallet. And we're, there's three second uh, settlement time. It says sign in. Okay, so go ahead and sign in. So was everyone able to fund? Okay. So if, when the button says complete, you can go ahead and click that button and move on to the next step. It does take five-ish seconds. But, and what you'll be seeing on the left on the monitor is in li live time right now, the different status of people um, uh, minting, claiming their NFTs. So we have the key up there so you can see the status of everyone participating. So on our account, we'll go ahead and mint as well. So, so were, people, were people able to successfully mint? Yeah? It, it should take some time. It, take, it takes a few seconds. So right here on the right, we've successfully minted an NFT. Hopefully you guys were able to su successfully mint one. So the next step we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll claim the NFT. So get your phone out. So this process is going to be different doing it on a computer versus on your phone. But what I just did right now is I scanned with my Sum app the NFT. And now I'm going to claim, accept, sign. <coughs> can, you, can you like refresh? Sure. OK. The NFT was accepted successfully. Okay, then we'll move on to the next step, which is view, view the NFT. There you go. So hopefully this is what you should see after the whole step-by-step -step process. I apologize, I apologize if it was a little complicated, but. This is not complicated, just redo the process? Yeah, yeah. I would say redo the process. Can you, can you refresh? If, if you're stuck, or, I would suggest uh, refreshing, retrying again. Um, so how many people have gotten to this part of being able to view their NFT? Let's get a show of hands. OK. Great. We have, I, I counted 15 up there. OK, cool. OK, so the next step that we're going to highlight is if you go to the navigational panel again. So the navigation panel would be this top right corner. If you click here, you should see this. Um, but on your screen, you will actually see a, um, a scan button, right? So if you go to the scan feature, it will say, imagine you are responsible for ticket em emissions for a local event. Ask a friend or person next to you um, if they would like to enter your event. Hint, scan their NFT. So I would say we're, gonna, we're anticipating that people in the audience will be able to scan each other's NFTs using, using the, the scanner through the X app. 
If you can try that now, go ahead. If not, um, we, we'll move on to the next step. So we'll be, we'll be able to see if anyone has been able to, to scan that NFT. It'll show up in light blue. So we got one person, number 33 already. Are you, are you on the, are you on the Okay. We got some people scanning each other's are NFTs. The, are That's you great. On the so you get out. Go to settings. Go to advanced. So you are on the DevNet. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Quit okay. and restart sorry, again. Bob. Okay. I would start again. You go here. Uh, go here. And I would start the process again. Yeah. Yep. You have five seconds. You claim. There you go. There you go. Okay. Right, we got four minutes. We can we can help you after. Yeah. I think we're gonna wait for questions to end, but you you can ask. Yeah. We're just kind of tight on time right now. Okay. So we're gonna call Andrew to choose a random lucky winner from the light blue colored. So anybody who managed to scan, who get their NFT scans has a chance to win. Uh, we'll give it, we'll give it 10 more seconds here. So 10 seconds to get those uh, NFT scans. Andrew, Andrew was caught by surprise. He wasn't expecting this. So it's not like he has a number saved up. Yeah, we're ready to go. All right. <laughs> so number 17, this is the information from, in this, uh, for this person. Um, we're going to select a winner. And Ryan now, with, through the main net on his phone, is actually going to scan and send 100 XRP to this lucky winner. So whoever, whoever won, you should have gotten that 100 XRP in your wallet just now. So congratulations. So for the last part of our, um, uh, for, of our demo, we want to show you guys how you can switch back to the main net. So if you go back into your some, some, some wallet, you go to settings, you click advanced, and you go to node, there's a list of different nodes under main net, test net, dev net, and custom is the one that you guys just added. Uh, this is uh, clicking on the, any of those three nodes in the main net. That's how you would switch back to, to, to the main net. Uh, we just want to make sure you, you were all aware of how to, you can switch back. Yeah. If anyone has any uh, questions or, or trouble after the event, please come up and uh, see me. I'll, I'll help you get back to default. Are you guys going to be off the main net or off the test net? I, I think um, the XLS 20D amendment passed, and we're waiting for seven days. And after seven days, it should move to main net. And so this whole hard process of getting people on the XLS 20D dev net should be no longer a barrier. Um, and so I think it's about seven days, and then we'll be able to migrate everyone over. So um, that concludes our, our demo. Um, thank you so much for participating. Um, here's our contact information. You can reach us by email, Twitter, and we're also available on the uh, developer channels. Um, thank you so much again. And if you have any questions, feel free.